Today we're heading into King Kong 5. Been to every other King Kong so far. It's one of the good ones. I'm solo, hoping that I find a Teen Titan, new Teen Titans number one, some fanta old Fantastic Four. Um, just getting over a cold, so that's why my voice is like this. Also gonna look for some old Justice League. Hopefully it works out. Let's look and see what's inside. So it's another haul video yeah. from a convention, which means at the end of this video, we'll be doing another Gimme Them Comics giveaway. So stay tuned to the end mm -hmm. and you could win a pile of comic books. I was at King Con alone because someone is a slacker. I was at work. Still slacking. This is your work. It, it was King Kong. <laughs> if only that were true. <laughs> it was <laughs> If we would get some more people on Patreon, that could be true. Or members here on YouTube. Yeah. This was King Con 5. I've been to all the previous four. Mm -hmm. It is a good convention. There are things I like about the convention. There are some things I don't like about the convention. For example, what I like about the convention is there are a lot of really good vendors at this convention, and their prices are really, really competitive. So it's like the vendors mm -hmm. are competing with each other. They had some. I bought some really good books at really cheap prices. They have the dollar bins like everybody else does. They have $2 bins and $5 bins and $10 bins. They have wall books. They have key books. They had a couple of vendors. I saved the card. I bought a bunch of stuff from Paul's Comics. Paul, I like the back graphic. Paul is in, uh, look at the front. Obviously, Paul Ninja is in, Turtles. Uh, Paul is an online uh, dealer, and he had a lot of dollar comics. Mm -hmm. And you'll see when I go through the hall, I'll point them out. Some of his dollar books even were labeled, like they had like first appearance of so and so, and oh, that's cool, it, which was really cool. So, so. The, key, the keys were actually labeled even in the dollar bin. Yeah, no, that's nice. So if you are looking for comic books, you can actually just message Paul. Here's his information. Here, he is able to provide you know fill in your gaps in your comic book collection. You can even scan where he is there. Very, really nice guy. First time I've ever met him as a dealer. Do you have any gaps that he could fill? I know you do. <laughs> Here is. Uh, Sorry, I, the, <laughs> I amuse myself more than anything else, don't I? Here's King Kong 5. Mm -hmm. Again, really good convention. Vendors are good. My only issue with King Kong is something that's been coming up regularly in our discussions about conventions. King Kong costs $20 to get in. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much for a comic convention. So in comparison, King Kong is a one-day comic book show. In comparison to the one-day comic expo, right? Mm-hmm. That was five dollars, and I, yeah. I got a free gift at the door, and the free gift was valued more more than five dollars. Right, you can't compete with that. And we actually have an interview coming up with the promoter of the One Day Comic Creator Expo. Organizer Organize promoter. everything. Mm -hmm. So the twenty dollars in to get into 
um, King Kong, it just, it, there was no, I didn't get anything for, for that. Like, there was no giveaway. Um, you actually lose on right. that deal, if you think about it. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that everyone loses. And I know it's probably to pay for the venue. Sure. Right? And to play, pay for the artist. We know that the artist cost a lot of money. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, when I was there, there was, weren't a lot of people with the artists. So what I noticed in at King Kong is King Kong is a lot of collectors and some dealers mm -hmm. walking around the room. Right. Mostly middle-aged men. No. N not a lot of families because at twenty dollars a pop, it's just too much. Yeah, you can't bring a family. Not a lot Can of teenagers. Call, you're Eighty dollars for a family no. of four to get into a comic no. convention. Okay, that's that's your budget. Basically. That's that's everything. That's, that's what you your brought. budget. Yeah. I love King Kong because. I get a lot of comics there. They have a l the vendors are absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. But again, I just my own my one gripe is twenty dollars is a little bit expensive, and it certainly I'd, is. I'd love to hear from King Kong to explain why they charge twenty for a one day comic show. And mm -hmm. I, it, you know, I've I've been to all the other ones, and every one has been great. And every one of them, I walk away with, you know, a pile of comics like this, and I don't spend that much. So for me, the way I break it down is that I it, my twenty dollars is getting me a discount. I guess I'm getting. Better quality comics at a discount, and it only cost me twenty dollars to get in. But okay, still, still a little bit more than I want to spend. I guess if you look at it that way, it's not so bad. Yeah. yeah. And this can and King Con is almost completely comic books, not any Funkos. They had one table had some old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, which I thought was really cool. I, I, I it's I'm, I'm fighting urges, and these just looked. Really? Oh, oh, and it was like, I was like, oh. Because you made the I jump know. into Star Wars. I know. And. I know. Where are you going to put a Ninja Turtles I don't know. display? I don't know. But I was like, oh, it's like, mm. they look, I had them when I was younger. When they first came out, I bought all, all the first, like, ten that came out. I only had one. I had all four of them. I had Shredder. I had the Foot Soldiers. I had all of them that came out. And then I'm like, I was like, yeah, you know what? Maybe, but they're expensive, and it was. I and having him on card too. I thought it was pretty. I cool. can't remember his name, but I bought the skateboarding gecko. Okay, just because he was a skateboarder, right. and it kind of fit my whole skateboarding punk rock thing that I was going through at the time. Right. So yeah, all right. But I had him. There you go. But uh, no, I didn't get any others. Yeah. I got a bunch when I was, and I actually traded some stuff for them from a friend who had them. It just I it was the first time. It's the first time ever that I was really going back and saying. Maybe I will. Well, they were always nice turtles. looking figures. They were. They were always nice looking. They were very different than anything else that, that was out there on the they market were. at the time. Yeah. So, this one vendor, he had like, I, I, we'll show you, he had like five carded figures and they were, it was pretty cool. But by and large, this convention was all comic books. What are you smiling about? I'm just looking to see where you'd put Ninja Turtles. Stop. I just don't. I don't we're we're, we're going to have a. A video of the room one of these days we'll do we'll we'll show the whole entire room in a video <laughs> so i did well at this bought a lot of comic books bought a some key fantastic four issues as we said in the opening we're going to do a give me them comic giveaway so pay attention to the end see how you can win it and if you entered any of our previous ones we announced a winner in one of our recent videos and the person hasn't cleaned it yet. So check out our other videos if you've entered the Gimme mm -hmm. Them Comics. Wow, really? No, yeah. no claims No yet? claims. So I haven't mm. decided what we're going to do with it if we don't have a claim for that. Because in each of our whole videos, we do a Gimme Them Comics giveaway. If someone doesn't claim it, I may just start rolling them over after a certain amount of time. So you may be getting... Oh, so you get like double Gimme Them getting Comics. A stack. So Gimme Them Double Comics. Without any further ado... Let's look at what we Let's hold on this one. See what you I got. I've really got some good, good issues. Justice League of America 138. We will start with a key. This is key number one. This is the first appearance of the Green Lantern from the 73rd century. Oh. I am hoping to one day finish this whole series. I am done with everything from like the 70s to 290s or something like that, to the end. I need a couple in the hundreds and a couple in you know, here and there, low ones. Just looking at the cover, I always had a little bit of a soft spot for Adam, Adam Strange. Strange. Yeah, I was like, kind of like and that character. This this was in a dollar bin, so this mm -hmm. was a this was a dollar book. Nice. So it's my our first dollar book and first key. Another Justice League, Justice League of America, one fifty four, also in the dollar bin. Nice cover. If you if I find these in a the dollar bin, the ones that I need, I will buy them mm -hmm. every single time. 
Justice League of America 146. This was in the dollar bin. It's key number two. It's the Secret Society of Supervillains. Nice. I do not need this one. This is the first one going in the Gimme Dem Comics giveaway. That's a big one. This could be yours. Very nice. Key number two could be yours. It's not mine. I'm not keeping it. Justice League of America Annual number three. It's the Crisis, crisis Crossover. Is that Crisis on Infinite Earth? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is also going... It was not $5. Mm -hmm. This is also going in the Gimme Them Comics Ooh, giveaway. Ooh, a Crisis tie-in. Get a Crisis tie-in. Nice. For free. Very nice. Very, very nice. For free. If you... I love that issue. I, uh, this one? If you watched really our last issue, issue, you saw that I bought a bunch of these. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to try to finish the whole entire JLA run. That's a great issue where they go into an alternate future where Darkseid's taken over the world. Right. It is fantastic. That was a great story. Grant Morrison wrote it. Absolutely awesome. JLA 14. One of the best Darkseid stories I've read. Yep, Morrison. And I've read more than you think. JLA 21. It's a Mark Waid mm -hmm. issue. Yep. I'm going to try to finish this whole run. And I just started at the last convention. JLA 31. Mm -hmm. So now I'll just... I, I always find these in the dollar bins and for years I passed on them. I was kind of surprised I didn't have this already, and I actually had to check oh, wow. my list twice. It's Brave and the Bold 138, but it's Batman with Mr. Miracle. I mean, you're a huge Mr. Miracle Huge fan. Mr. Miracle. Yeah. He's my second favorite DC character mm -hmm. behind The Flash. I was surprised I didn't have this. And I actually, I oh. may, I may, because I may try to put it away, and it may already be there. But isn't it everyone was, behind the Flash? No, nah, because he's because uh, 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 he's, he's fast. Dad jokes are free. Oh. Brian's a little worn out today. <clears throat> we I am. Adam well. Strange kick, Brave and the Bold one ninety. Oh, right. Batman and Adam Strange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all in the dollar bins. Same bender. Oh wait, but but Adam Strange is dead in that on that cover. He's dead. Uh, I'm betting he comes back. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Green Lantern 139. Mm -hmm. Don't know a lot about Green Lantern, honestly. I really should know more. You should. Mm. This was a good series. This is the second series. Somewhere a friend of ours is probably yes, face bombing. Yeah. Green Lantern 140. Uh, another Adam Strange story. Wow. What, what's going Adam on there? Adam Strange in this convention. I don't know. I guess I put Adam Strange. Something's trying to tell you someone. Yeah. These were from a dollar bin also, and they had, if you look, it explains what it is. What is it? It's the first appearance of Osiris. Oh. This is key number three, the first appearance of Osiris. 52 week, week 23. I think I'm down to four more of these mm -hmm. that I need. My plan is when I complete the series, I'm actually going to read it. And the 52, that was the series that linked, linked. Flashpoint to the new uh -huh. 52, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. 24. Cool cover. All of these covers are cool. Yeah. This one I like too. These are good. 25. Oh, yeah. Dressed nice. up as a Constantine. No, question. No, the question, right? Yeah. Yeah. Question, steel, boost the gold. Nice. 48. This is key number four. Oh, it's the first appearance of Renee Montoya as the I question. I was going to say, that's the second question, the Renee Montoya, yep. yeah. She's still the question now. She's oh, appearing she in still? comics now, yeah. Oh, okay. She's been in a, in Batman, I think. She's been popping mm. up in Batman. Yeah. 49. Key number five. It's the first appearance of Citizen Steel. 52 week. This series contained a lot of key issues. Mm. 51. Well, it's because they were restarting the DC Universe using this series, right? Yes. I mean, leading up to... So they introduced 52. a new character. Yeah. This is also going in Give Me Them Comics. Oh, I already have this. Really good Red Tornado cover. This is for you. Mm, for free. Cool. That was it for DC, which is very odd. Mm-hmm. Because I usually buy more DC than Marvel, but it just so happens that the vendors had a lot more dollar bin Marvel, which I'm noticing lately. There's mm -hmm. been a switch... In yeah, no, I know what you're saying. <clears throat> DC is becoming more popular at this point, so the getting moved out of the dollar bin. And I'm wondering, does that have something to do with like gearing up for the new DCU? Possibly, maybe, or possibly. I, I, don't, I don't get it. But I noticed that this convention a lot more. So dealers Marvel. might be. What I'm thinking is dealers might be just holding on to their DC yes. books in hopes maybe that yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, dollar bin stuff, and this is an older X Men, X Men 144 for a dollar. I'm not a big X Men guy, but. When I find these in the dollar bin, I'm going to buy them every single time. Yeah, though, that era of X-Men I, can't, is I know. Great. I can't. That's a great era. Just to cover alone. Yeah. 153. Mm -hmm. oh, one, of my, one of my favorite, most, I think, underrated X-Men characters, Kitty Pride, Kitty right Pride. on the cover. 
I just yeah. the price I couldn't I couldn't say no to them on the price one ninety nine so I ended up buying mm -hmm. a bunch of them and I normally don't one sixty three nice. this is key number six it's the origin of binary Carol Danvers binary Carol yeah. Danvers one of the other in before Captain Marvel mm. or after Captain Marvel I don't know. oh she was a pilot yes and after she became Captain Marvel did one sixty five absorb her at yes. one point. Yeah. Key number seven, the first Paul Smith art. No. Oh. And I mean, again, look at these these yeah. issues. And I bought a bunch of them. Really They're in nice condition. That's, I is never that the brood on the cover? Yeah. I Oh, nice. Is this the first brood story or the second brood story? Probably second brood story. I am not a big X Men collector, but I bought five issues that, and three of them were keys yeah the 80s into the early 90s x-men is my favorite captain america 257 this happens to be one of my all-time favorite covers mm, i bought this as a kid and it just I, I bought it off the um spinner rack at, at a newsstand nice. as a kid mm -hmm. and i was just it was so cool but i have it you already realize you just totally dated us right I know. by saying newsstand yeah yeah uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so this goes in the Give Me Them Comics. I have this already, but I just loved it. And I'm like, you know what? I want to share this with someone else. One of our subscribers can may, get this May, may I free. take a look at that while you're going through the others? You may. Real quick. Captain America 297. That is a great cover. Another series I'm going to, at some point in life, mm -hmm. finish. 348. This goes in Give Me Them Comics. Yeah. It's very cool. Four oh four. Cappy cap cap. Right, four oh four. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. With Wolverine. Yeah. Three ninety nine. This is another giveaway. I have mm -hmm. this already. Goes in the Gimme Them Comics giveaway. You guys are getting big time stuff. Four hundred. Another one that goes in the giveaway. Nice. Oh, that looks very familiar. I can't pass it up. I just for I so for a dollar. I have I honestly, so many copies of this. Me too, and I keep buying more <laughs> because when I see it in the dollar bin, yeah. unopened. Well, if it's unopened, that's great. It yeah. has a shadow it's star got the card. It has a shadow star card in it. Right. I checked it, mm -hmm. but it's it's key number eight. It's the it's X Force number one. And yeah, probably one of the biggest selling. It was one of the, it was in our top ten. We Easily did our top one 10. of the biggest selling. Yeah, top ten selling comics. This is one of them. If it's in the dollar bin, I'll buy it every time. I understand the I'm artist. Just keep, I'm uh, just going to keep buying them. The artist was popular at one time. Right? He, he yeah, was. Yeah, that's right. I'm yeah. going to I'm going to buy it every time I see it in the dollar bin. Every <laughs> single time I see it, I'm you're gonna just going to try to get I'm every single. I'm going to buy it and I'm going to see how many copies I can get. You get all three all million copies that are out there. Alpha Flight Twenty Eight. This is a Secret Wars two tie-in. Oh, this is oh, yeah, it's Beyonder on the cover. Right there. This mm -hmm. is also going in the pile for Gimme Them Comics. Mm -hmm. This could be yours. All you have to do. Is watch till the end. Reach out. Another one where it gives us why it's a key. This is key number nine, the first appearance of Megatac. Oh. I believe that's Megatac there. I don't know Megatac is. Me neither. It's Thor 328. Mm. No, a good one. I, again, Thor. Know nothing about that series. I really Thor 391. Outside Beta Ray Bill, I don't really know much. Another key, key number 10, the first appearance of Eric Masterson. Oh, who became the second Thor, That's right? That's right. He was like the they extreme 90s Thor, on, right? Had it written on there in the, in the mm. dollar bin. Cloak and Dagger 6. Good stuff. I think I need two more to finish this series. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to read Cloak and Dagger from beginning to end. Nice. This one just because. Oh, why not? That's Food awesome. Food of the Gods. It's a Marvel classic comics. They took old movies. It's number 22. Oh, man. They did a whole bunch of different ones. That movie has a special place Food in Food of heart. the Gods. If you don't know what Food of the Gods is, watch this trailer right here. More frightening than his War of the Worlds. More imaginative than his time machine. Now, H.G. Wells' masterpiece of science fiction, The Food of the Gods. The terrifying tale of man fighting for his life against an ecology gone berserk. This is the last chance for an unsuspecting world against harmless animals and insects made huge and vicious by The Food of the Gods. Marjo Gortner. Pamela Franklin, Ralph Meeker, Ida Lupino, H.G. Wells' The Food of the Gods for a Taste of Hell, rated PG. 
So there you go. It was oh that movie is good. Giant rats. It's not not good. It's it's us good. Giant insects. <laughs> it's, it's it's a good bad movie. So yeah, it's us good. After not you watch good, good. our video, go and watch Food of the Gods. Oh yeah. Human Torch number three. Not in great condition, but these are hard to find. Mm -hmm. um, it comes in the middle of the Fantastic Four series. Uh -huh. So I'm going to try to finish the run. Yeah. You get the Here. Fantastic Four number one yet? Maybe in this pile. Oh. Stay tuned. Heroes Return number one. A newer issue. Mm -hmm. This goes in the Gimme Them comics. Nice. I'll get you started on this. How often do I find a She-Hulk in the... Oh, dollar the cover bin. is great. How often do I find a She-Hulk in the dollar bin? But here it is, She-Hulk 8 with giant-sized Man-Thing right behind her. That is a great cover. That would make an awesome poster. That would. Right? Giant-sized Man-Thing coming up her ear. <laughs> you had to make it weird, right? I had to. <laughs> Number eight. But again, if you've been watching, I've been buying She-Hulk, have never gotten a She-Hulk in the dollar bin before. Mm -hmm. This is the first one. Avengers 220... Four, this is the trial of Yellow Jacket. Mm -hmm. This is also going in the Gimme Them Comics giveaway. A lot of good things I to start you guys off. Pile up for the Gimme yeah. Them Comics. Avengers 228, this is key number 11. It's the third appearance of Monica Rambo as Captain Marvel. Nice. It's the trial of Yellow Jacket, too. Mm hmm. It's actually when you finally go to trial. Another, nice. another good issue. Miss Mar, another comic I'm collecting, have never seen in Dobbin. I've seen this issue. Oh, number three. A nice. number of times for like 25 bucks. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've passed on it. I got it in the dollar bin. Nice. So it pays to, one, always check the dollar bin. Yes. And two, wait. Just just wait it out. Mm -hmm. You never know when you're yeah. going to find something. Don't, don't go spend a lot of money on things when you can get them cheaper. Shogun Warriors number two. How many of those do you have yet so far? I think I have four. How how many did it run for? Not many. Not like eight maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, twelve maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, yeah. So this I, is two. Actually, I bought one. I don't even think they finished the story in the series. I think the story the series finished Fantastic Four. in Fantastic Four. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy every Shogun Warrior mm -hmm. I can in the dollar bin. I think I paid ten dollars for number one because that's not ever going to be a dollar bin, but maybe it will. Mm -hmm. You never know, right? But I'm going to keep buying. I might have number one at home somewhere. I know I had that comic. Maru Premier Thirty Seven. Ah. What makes it special? 3D Man. What makes it special? Oh, uh, it's a Whitman. It's a Whitman. There Got you the go. It's a triangle. Triangle. What what it means is that at a time, Marvel would take some of their back stock and they mm -hmm. would load them into uh, a bag, mm -hmm. three comics in the bag, and it'd be like 99 cents and or whatever. And sell them at like... Uh, yeah. uh, like Kmart, Woolworths, or Kmart, yeah. or yeah, and then you department can, stores. They, they have become highly collectible because they're yeah. much rarer than the regular ones. Yeah, which no, they can't be overstocked because they re they print them, so it's not overstocked. They just actually printed them for them. Maybe they just they they would reprint high selling issues. There you go. That could have been no. it. Three D Man was a high selling issue. I don't think so. I mean, you never know. No, the New Mutants forty, just like the cover. Ooh, yeah. And a, another series I'm yeah. going to finish at some point. You don't often see Cap giving a smack no. to Magneto. Especially because right? of the shield. Yeah. It's metal. You would think. Full Killer number eight. Ah, uh, nice Spidey cover. This goes in the Gimme Then Comics giveaway. Another good. That would make another good poster. There you go. Oh, that would make a good poster. Right? Yeah. Spider Woman 15. You still Again, ga you're still gathering these up, right? Friggin' dollar bin, though. Yeah. This is in mm -hmm. the dollar bin. I never find these in the dollar bin. Mm -hmm. 15 and 24. I only need a couple. This one, actually, I had already, didn't realize it, so it goes in the Gimme Them Comics. Nice. You get you get my mistakes. Official Marvel Index. Now, here's here's where we get into it now, all right? Mm -hmm. So, I bought a exceptionally large amount of Fantastic Fours in this convention because the prices were so good, I couldn't pass on some really, really early issues. Like, early issues. Mm -hmm. Like, early issues. So the bulk of my money went to Fantastic Four at this convention. Mm -hmm. And I just kept, every time I would go to another vendor, I'd, I'd in my head go, I'm going to buy the cheapest and lowest numbered Fantastic. I'm going to balance it out. Yeah. Cheap and low number and see what I can get. Mm -hmm. And I think I did really well. Okay. This is the official index. I just, I like this just to have it. At sure. some point I'm going to start using it as research. May I? Yes, you may. So I'm, my plan is to use it as just 
as some kind of research. Oh yeah. And then when I buy the number one, I'll I'll celebrate. Oh, so they like give you synopsis. And yeah, some comments. And yeah, stuff. about who, what characters appear in it. It gives you a nice little rundown on what the issue is about. It looks like an encyclopedia inside. Yeah. Uh, by the way, encyclopedia is what we had before the internet. What if you guys don't know? No. They were these I dated books. My, I dated myself with newsstand. You're talking about encyclopedias. People got, would sell them door to door. They would knock on your door and sell you an encyclopedia. Take guess. Guess where I got my first set of encyclopedias when I was a kid. From your grandparents? No. Where? Pathmark. Oh, free. Uh, yeah, but you would always have A. You had 13, issues, 13 copies of A. <laughs> no, I had all of them. I got them all. We got the whole we set. We had ones. When I was yeah. growing up, my grandparents had ones, and they were from like 1968. Oh, yeah. So they were old. So, all right, you ready? Here is the big part of what I bought at King Kong, and here is the reason why I like King Kong. The prices are just so well done at King Kong. I, I couldn't pass on it. Here we go. Number 33 for 20 bucks. That's good. It's key number two, key number 12. Oh. It's the first appearance of Adama. That's right? pretty good. That's pretty first good. First appearance. He, he, if he you, appears in, in if he you saw Wakanda in, forever. Yeah, he appeared in it. Atuma's in it. This is mm -hmm. his, Atuma, this is yeah. his first appearance and it was only $20. And mm -hmm. if you really look at it, listen, is it the best condition ever? No, but is it in bad condition? No. No, it's great. So this is, I went and looked, this is sometimes a $200 book. Mm-hmm. 20 bucks. Nice. So balancing mm -hmm. value and cost. 69. 69, dudes. 10 bucks. Wow, really? 10, 10 bucks. bucks. 10 bucks. That's awesome. For for 10 bucks for a 69. Nice. 69, dudes. <laughs> 79 also 10 bucks. Not as much fun. No. So, if you're keeping score, forty bucks. It's actually it was cheaper because I got a discount on the mm -hmm. the, the tens because I bought three tens. Less than forty bucks for these three issues, all under a hundred. Now I went over a hundred. One oh four. I think this was three dollars. Wow. And I because I bought three. I bought from Zap Comics was there. Mm -hmm. So Ben from Zap Comics, I bought. A couple of three dollar brands. Three dollars, one oh four, one oh six, one oh nine, one ten. This is key number thirteen. It's the first appearance of Agatha Harkness on a cover. It's our oh. first cover appearance. And it cool. was only three bucks. I always forget that she she showed up in Fantastic Four. She first her first right? appearance in Fantastic Four. Before she got involved with Scarlet Witch. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm-hmm. 116 Dr. Doom cover Doom I think this was $2 mm -hmm. 123 I think also $2 Whoa. This is key number 14 It's an early Silver Surfer appearance I, The the logo is different yeah. It's so strange looking The colors are very different Yeah Cuz this is mm. the one you're used to 160 this is in the dollar bin Mhm mm Mhm mm That's a dollar comic Yeah Then I went some higher ones just to fill in 340 Unfortunately I had it already so what does that mean if I had it already? It means you get it. Someone out there is getting a Fantastic Four 340. 355. Mm -hmm. Just thought the cover was cool. Again, in the dollar bin. And not only in the dollar, in the dollar bin and in the nice... That looks painful. Yeah. The hit looks... Like, it looks like that really... They conveyed a good, like, wow, that hurts kind of image. There, 356. You know? My teeth hurt thinking about that. Thinking about that in shot. Ah. 360... Eight, and I just I wanted to say something about this one because I bought this one. I, I don't like to rag on mm. artists, but this cover is awful. Let me take the close look at that. look at how bad Wolverine looks. This is by Paul Ryan. I just I was like, oh my god, that cover is terrible. This is a horrible looking cover. Why does Wolverine look like he that? He looks terrible. Like death metal Wolverine. But it just but just the art doesn't. Oh, look because good. it's Day of the Doppelganger. I get it, but it just okay. doesn't look good. And then uh, he did a bunch of covers. This is him too. 370 is also Paul Ryan. And you know, it's also the colorist kind of. It just doesn't look good. The background is just all gray. Like, why is yeah. it? You know what I don't like about... Well, I, and Wolverine's not a hard character to to draw. Not not from a professional artist perspective. But you know something I hated? And this is from the 90s? Yeah. Or late 80s, probably. Late 80s if it's $1.25, probably. 
the one thing I always hated in, in that time period is there were certain artists who would draw Wolverine's claws so long that there's no way they would actually they fit would inside fit of his arm. forearms. He wouldn't be able to bend his elbow. There's no way he, that his claws would actually yeah. fit in his forearms. Yeah. I hated when they did that. You guys got to think like just anatomy, you know? Like yeah. don't go for like oh it's badass. And it's anatomy. it's an Infinite Wars, Infinity Wars crossover. But I just I picked it up and I was yeah. and when I was going through it, I was like oh it's a, it's probably a good book, but it just, probably uh, is the yeah three eighty four. Also, it's the Fantastic Three, though. Also in the diamond. who's missing? I don't. Um, probably. It looks like it actually looks like it's not even the regular one. She's bad, right? So Invisible She's bad? Woman Who is, is bad. She's that's the Invisible Woman. Yeah. What is she? What's that's the, Sue. What's the character she turns into? I don't remember. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But there's a character that she turns into, and she, uh, John Byrne is the first one to introduce it. She's an evil one. This Are you sure is, that's just not like something no, Reed made she, No, aware? she does. She does become that at one point. Hmm, okay. I can't. For, I can't for life me thinking that it's been a long day. <laughs> this is Fantastic Force number sixteen. I'm gonna try to collect this too. Mm -hmm. It's the kids and Power Pack. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And I've been on a Power Pack kick too. You got to sit down and watch that show. I know. And Ultimate Fantastic Four 44. I only need one more of these. I actually have to go back oh. to the guy Paul and see if he has the one I asked him. He looked through his stuff, didn't have it. But this is the... I need one more. I think I need 21. Mm. Issue 21. So, there's some really good stories in the Ultimate yes. Fantastic Four series. So once I finish I? it, I will... I just want to see who, if they have the writer on here. Oh yeah, Mike Carey. Mike Carey's yeah. good. So that's, that's my haul. Very so nice. my haul becomes partially your haul. Here's the comics you will get to enter Gimme Them Comics. What do you need to do to enter the Gimme Them Comics? You need to be a subscriber. That's it. And you need to just comment below, say anything. You can say Gimme Them Comics. You could say how much you love our videos. You could say how awesome my beard looks. You could say how much of a slacker Brian is. Whatever you want to say, just comment it and you will be entered and we will do it this giveaway down the road somewhere because we have another one that's still going on so check back with our last whole video at the one stop comic expo we have another yeah. that one's mm -hmm. there and if you entered our last one the winner has not claimed yet where so are you go and watch it yeah. and just send us an email and tell us that you won what? a little bit of trivia Mike Carey wrote yeah. this episode do you know what else he wrote? Issue, not an episode. Go ahead. What? Oh, issue. Sorry. That's the episode because yeah. we're on YouTube. We're on an episode. Uh, but Mike, Mike Carey also uh, wrote the novel The Girl with All the Gifts. Oh, okay. Do you know that movie? Nope, not at all. Oh, it's a great zombie story. Go read The Girl with All the Gifts and see the movie after. So there you go. There's the haul mm -hmm. from King Con 5. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth it. Um, we have some other conventions coming up if Slacker will take some time off. Yeah. But thank you for joining us. <laughs> Enter the Gimme Them Comics giveaway. Check us out on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We mm -hmm. go live. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You, you got it, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Love what you collect. Collect what you love. We'll see you next time.